Welcome to Starfield. So here we are with Starfield. I'm very, very <clears throat> excited and very, very curious about this game. So this game I am going to play on normal difficulty. Reason being, some games I'm very, very good at. Um, strategy games, RPGs card games and some multiplayer games some multiplayer games I'm really really good at but some games I am really 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 bad at and that includes every game where you need to aim <clears throat> aiming is something that I'm not very good at so the difficulties are very easy easy normal hard and very hard I could probably finish the game on very hard I mean, but I don't want it to take ages. Um, so I'm just going to play it on normal. Okay. That said, I think we're ready to start. Here we go. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Star Dock. Except, uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A right, group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> one of these days, Hella? I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. Okay. <clears throat> so we are in a mine. Okay. Let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. Grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Remember, Dusty, keep your breathing steady and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. Know what I love about working in freestyle collective space? Fewer away. That. A job like this in the United Colonies? That's <laughs> pretty cool. Where are you? This one over here. Calva! No! Ah, no, no, no! It's a laser, not a sledgehammer! Ease up! Benning, if you got paid per break, you'd be a millionaire! Let's go! Yeah, yeah, okay. What do we say, Dusty? You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up! Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. 
Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Let's call this one tapped. Why don't you move over to that big vein we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Oh. This is a mine that survived uh, Margaret Thatcher. Very interesting. All right, what are we mining here? Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. I'll shout out when I need you. Okay. Uh, you think we'll be done here soon? Can I kill you? Oh. Sorry, that was um, a misclick. I'm busy. I'm bad at aiming, Is sorry, bro. To bother? Nah, let's just do the mining now. Careful. Don't think I can actually kill him, but. Okay, good. Looks like we don't have to pick anything up. It just ends up in our inventory somehow. I guess. We're off this Time. You're with me. Hmm, you're immune. Where are we going? That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. We're getting close. I think. Yeah, everything is just <laughs> Lynn, seriously. Uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. Uh <laughs> Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. Hey, don't look at me. I've done my part. Okay, I'm doing my part, I guess. Although, that didn't sound very reassuring, um, did it? Still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. Do you see anything? Take the strange object. Okay. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Ah. There we go. Character creator screen now. I'm gonna spend some time here, I'm sure. Okay, this is a good starting point. So, thin, heavy, or muscular. Oh, I like that. 
to muscular but like on the thinner side slightly okay skin tone don't know let's do this face Okay, hair, cheeks, uh, mouth, teeth, ah, interesting, jaw, What about, oh, chin? Scars? Oh, you can, you can do the joker. Okay, nice scar. Facial forms. Okay, I think this is pretty... This is okay, I think. Um, yeah, cool. So we've got our guy. We've got our guy now. So now... Body done, face done, background. Let's have a look. Beast Hunter, Bouncer, Bounty Hunter, Chef. Combat Medic, Cyber Runner, Cyber Assist, Cyberneticist, Diplomat, Explorer, Gangster, so Bounty Hunter, that's the first one I'm interested in. As more people journey into space, the number of those certified to effective, effectively pilot various types of spacecraft has increased dramatically. Starting skills, piloting, targeting control systems. Missile weapons are favored because they can lock onto an enemy ship, but an inmate knowledge of tracking systems can make them even more effective. Boost, boost pack training. Specialized training and innovation in personal mobility systems have allowed for unfettered exploration, exploration on an alien world. So that's one. That's interesting. Um, what about, don't want to be melee, I don't think, soldier, fitness. In space, the greatest com commodity is oxygen, and the increased lung capacity gained by a regular psychic, uh, physical fitness regimen is es essential to, survi to survival. Ballistics. Centuries of conflict have proven that when it comes to threat elimination, few things stack up to the reliable power of high-speed projectiles. And boost pack training again. I kind of like this one as well, file not found, because it gives you wellness. By embracing an active lifestyle and good nutrition, one may improve their overall sense of health and even gain prolonged life expectancy. Ballistics and piloting again. Yeah, file not found. Trades. Now this is also interesting because... You have volunteered for a convert uh, alien DNA, so they all, I think all of them have advantages and disadvantages. So like this one, alien DNA, you volunteered for a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. As a result, you start with increased health and oxygen, but healing and food items aren't as effective. They're all optional, by the way, so we don't actually have to... Wanted. Someone put a price on your head and word has spread. Occasionally, armed mercenaries will show, up, will show up and try to kill you, but being cornered gives you an edge. 
When your health is low, you do extra damage. We're wanted. Oh, some of them block other choices. Freestyle Collective Settler. You gain access to special Freestyle Collective dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction. But crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Can be combined with any other factional allegiance. Okay, maybe don't take the let's not take the faction thing now. And there are religion traits as well. Okay, I think I'm gonna stick to these two. And uh, what's his name? Just do this. Um. Okay. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? Hmm. Huh. Well, makes the paperwork easier. And we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Whoa. Hello, Lynn. You don't look good. Who said that? Constellation now? contact is on approach. Wait. The explorers group? <laughs> Thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, but come yeah, right. on. Exploring Need space. Need some coffee or something? Ain't the space got a package got down here somewhere. Enough. Hey, that was my sandwich. And mine now. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. Put my helmet on. Select the area in the lower right to access your inventory. Yeah. Oh yeah, there it is. The helmet is on. the client just in case it goes south I'm ready to shoot something right here the new guy found it that right and everything went cool 
Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazam, and no Barrett, not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Doesn't even remember what happened. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? I'm good. All right. A little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Mm -hmm. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's why I like you, Lynn. All business. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. Oh. I really thought I lost them. Barrett? It's the pirates. Oh, that's so cool. Coming. Got a pistol. Wait, that's not what I was looking for. Where is the, my inventory? Bro, this is bad as usual. How many of them are here? Got them. Right in the ass. Don't you have like some better weapons I could loot? Pirates are gone. Oh, okay. That's a better weapon. Mousetorm, okay. <clears throat> Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Well, that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Mm. Marvelous. Oh no, Barrett. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? How does he know I all knew right. about the visions? I didn't I tell him I anything. I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well... None of that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again. Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Thanks. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Um. That, my friend, is the what million did we dig up? question. And Constellation can find the answer. 
with your help. Okay, what is constellation? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. That was the most unclear explanation I've ever heard. Um, okay, well, uh, are you giving me a ship? Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Okay, well, I'm done with and you. Vasco! You going? Don't let him break my Staying ship! around isn't helping us out, then. Let's just get onto the ship, then. Hmm. Captain. I assume you know how to fly a Class A starship. As Barrett likes to say, it's as easy as learning to ride a bike. I will attempt to boost the shields, just in case there are any difficulties. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Alright, take off. We're off. Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. Mm. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Left out to use uh, systems. Oh, yeah. Each system on a ship requires power. Allocating power is under your direct control. I see. Let's go over the engines. Engines control our maximum speed. Try increasing and decreasing our relative velocity. I've done that. A ship's engine has a sweet spot for better handling during turns. Draw your attention to the HUD. You'll notice a speed indicator in the lower left with a gauge that goes up and down as you adjust the throttle. Try to center the gauge so that it lines up with the center of the vertical bars to its right. Boosts can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Ooh. Nice. Let's turn our attention to the shields. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, they'll be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. Yes, okay, yeah, I can see that. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you familiar with ship combat tactics? Because that's a Crimson Fleet ship bringing its weapons to bear. We will need to disable their shields. Laser-based weaponry is particularly effective. If you can keep the enemy ship centered on the HUD, we can log in to fire a homing missile. The enemy shields are down, Captain. Ballistic weaponry 
excels at damaging the hull once shields are offline. How can I fire the missile? Oh, still. Oh, that's the ballistic cannon. Done. Congratulations on surviving your first Starship assault, Captain. We should search the wreckage for spare parts and other salvage. You will need to fly close to it before we can access the remains. I'm, I'm trying. Two more Crimson Fleet ships are jumping into our location, Captain. Okay. I just hit that object, but, well, the debris, but I think we're fine. Say locked on. Okay. No mercy. Ballistic missile is the most effective thing out there. But yeah. Alright, let's loot. Loot? Can I loot in combat? This one's mine! Oh yeah. Not the best pilot out there, that's for sure. Doing anything, They're not doing any damage. The amount of Crimson Fleet hostility has been far more than anticipated. At this rate, the odds of continual assault from their ships are high enough to jeopardize our mission. In short, they are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the nearby moon of Crete. A perfect staging area for pirates. Travel to Crete. That would have been the end of a real flight. Uh, where am I supposed to go? Here. Press tab to open the data menu. From there you can open the star map. Okay. Ah, there it is. Okay. Set landing target. Yep. Travel. The planet view of the star map gives you information about the environment, lets you scan the planet for resources and helps you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the Crete Research Lab map icon is in view, then select the map icon and land there. Uh, 
Captain, Protocol Indigo dictates that I am to return to the Lodge with no deviations. We are here to stop the Crimson Fleet from pursuit. Nothing more. Okay. Why is the Crimson Fleet after Barrett? I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live, usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people <laughs> wanted. Constellation is an explorer's society founded over 50 years ago with the mission of seeking out the unknown. Some Members of often engage in expeditions in small groups, typically one or two people, or like Barrett and myself, one person and one robot. The membership is intentionally limited and small. Should you join Constellation yourself, you will be the 10th active member. Well, that's good to know. So there are num nine members, including Barrett. Let's trade Carrying here. objects is one of my simplest and most useful protocols. Oh, I don't even understand this, uh, this UI. Okay, I guess that's one way. I will have So what, do you have it now? Whatever you need. Do you have the pistol? Oh, you have that now, yeah? Alright, so that's your inventory. And I can just give you stuff, right? So I've given you this. Now I'm taking it back. Got it. Alright, we're done talking. Let's do a... Uh, and let's move. This is Call of Duty now. Is in this direction. What's this thing? Be careful, Captain. Alien. Scan creatures, minerals, and plants. Each unique item scan progresses your survey data of the planet. Complete survey data that can be sold for credits. The scanner mode also unlocks additional features such as building outposts and using social skills like diplomacy and intimidation are often unpredictable. Where are the creatures? That's the lab. Can I scan those? Thirteen percent scanned. Creed Stalker. There's a lot of that stuff here. So the survey is 59% complete, that's interesting, of this planet. And I only have resources, nothing else. No animals, no plants. Okay, let's get the weapon out. No? Can I get the weapon out? I'm pressing 
There we go. Oh, I think we're going the wrong way. Unknown? No. Unknown? Oh, it's here. Okay. the pirates Okay, what do we have here? Something interesting here. It's the loo. going on there Check it out. Uh. So is this 
So this one has more accuracy, less mass, better fire rate, but deals less damage, right? Cool. Wait, actually... This is gonna be our number one. Number two. Number three. Let's try that. Surprise me there. Okay, the gravity is back to normal inside. Back to now. You're not very helpful, you're uh, blocking the you path. You are trying to kill me, but I am not technically alive. <laughs> ah, use a med pack by pressing zero. Zero as in Ooh, level two. The enemy is no longer visible. Searching. Blow up. Any more? Okay. Looks like there is more. Oh yeah, I can, I can see you there. What are you doing? I believe we are no longer... Okay. Weird. Weird, but there are more weapons here. Probably here. Listen up! We got someone trying to jump our score. Hold them off here while Brogan sets up. My head. Oh. Kind of out of ammo. Am I? I am. Oh. Get some ammo. It's not a massive problem, but...
Okay, I do have some ammo for this one. And this one. We can also go melee, I guess, so um, we've got this axe now. It's the, this is the shining now. The shining, I'm, I'm hunting. You don't, you don't look so good. I'm detecting a safe nearby. We could oh, make use shit. of whatever is inside. Like you had some digi pics and a disregard for personal property rights. Sorry, I was listening. Uh, there was something that jumped out of here. What do you want me to do? Upstairs, the roof. the ship keys out of his cold dead hands um we don't have a problem with barrett we want that ship the frontier if you're the captain of it now that means we're after you uh Okay, well, they don't, they want the ship, so I don't, I'm not sure how that's gonna change anything. Right, well, time to die then. Oh, this will be fun. Spirit and the Princess Fleet have something of a history. I wonder if I have, like, grenades or something like that. Have a look. I don't think so. You scared the shit out of me. In combat, Eric often yells, pew, pew, pew. I am not sure why. Uh, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. They're not helping. Father, you're uh... Well, this is good. Calm down. Don't really do any serious damage. When it comes to aim, they are kind of like stormtroopers from Star Wars. It is a shame. Exploration requires so much bloodshed. <laughs> Well, they are doing some damage, I guess. My aim is just as bad. Oh, I understand. You wish to kill us and take our belongings. Did any damage received? With this gravity, can I just jump? Will I survive?
gonna give it a try. I am aiming for okay. your center of mass. Alright, the shining. <laughs> Alright, the melee combat may not be the best thing. this game has to offer I have to say it is not the best thing looks like there is some cool stuff that this guy had going on here Oh, that was a crit. That's pretty good. These guys first. The last one. Well, let's see what did we get here. We've got the pirate space suit now. I mean, this one's better. I'm wearing a space pirate space suit now. And I've got this helmet, which is blue, so it's a bit better, right? Well, let's loot these guys. Down there. If you are gaining CO2 when full, you will take. Oh, oh yeah, I can see that. Look at the map icon. And go to the ship. You're carrying too much and can't fast travel. Okay. Well, at the moment, we've got another problem. PO2. Oh, the inventory. The UI, I have to say, is not the best in this game. Lots of clicking. Fast travel back to the ship. Captain, to reach the launch, we must jump to the planet Jemison in the Alpha Centauri system and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Okay, I can fast travel from the mission menu. Check missions in the bottom section. Where? Where? Here, okay. What? Look at this. <laughs> this is not the best UI, literally. It's hidden. You can't even see it. Okay. Press R to automatically plot of course, to your next objective. Yes, perfect. Jump. 